All right, what's up guys? We're here at Coastal Regenix. I'm coming to do my PRP procedure and I'm gonna show you everything that we're doing and walk you through it, so come on in. Okay, which finger would you like? And my extremities are always cool. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're just getting a blood draw right now, and then they're gonna spin it for I think an hour, and then we're gonna come back and do the pr actual procedure. No problem. Or are you good on both sides? Um, that one just looks. It better. doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I had blood work done last week on. Yeah, you don't. It looks like one of both of them. We'll start with right. All those are for me. <laughs> it looks like a lot, I promise. But you I, could, I mean, like, it is what it is. I don't care. <laughs> if you want to get like a blood donation, a bag is like sixty of these. I've Jeez. actually never, I've actually never donated a bag of blood, but yeah. I've had plenty. So it's it's not even half. Oh really? Yeah. Sixty. That's a lot of blood. But. <laughs> So we take this and then we put it in a centrifuge and spin it and you'll be able to see the separation of the plasma and the blood cells. After that, I'm going to pipette it and concentrate it to a higher level than what any other clinic is able to do. And that's all regenic proprietary stuff. How long does that take? Um, the total processing will take about an hour and a half. The reason we have to take so much blood is because most people yield about two cc's of plasma once it gets spun and we need let's say 40 or 50 cc's we have to draw enough tubes to get that amount mm -hmm. some people will yield four and then we can cut their draw in half but we can never draw blood from you we don't know what you yield yet mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so my right arm ran out of blood, so we're going to my left now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't faint with the side of blood or anything. No. You're pretty good with it. Okay. Has anyone ever told you no and then just conked out? Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> so true. That has not happened to me yet. But I'm like waiting for the day. I'm like waiting for that moment where they're like, no, I'm totally cool. And then boom. <laughs> <laughs> we brought you some juice. There's a fruit medley and an apple juice. Cool. The sugar will help. Thanks. Can you put pressure? Thank you. Thank you. Not too tight, right? No, that's fine. Okay. Thank you, champion. Thank you. Can I grab that from you? Do you want to keep this as a memory? Or? <laughs> <laughs> that's alright. Okay. Yeah, this side's fine now, too. <clears throat> apple juice. This is your prize. Do you feel woozy at all? It's kind of hard to differentiate between how I feel and how tired I am because I yeah. slept like two hours last night. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm fine. Oh, damn, this is really good though. I love apple juice and like applesauce. Okay, so the left hip, bilateral shoulder, and then the SI joint. It's going to be performed by Dr. Cohen. We're doing super con uh, concentrated platelets as well as platelet lattes. And then here at the back it says you're allergic to sulfur drugs. So if you could just okay. sign and date. Okay. And then so this is for the left hip. It's 1,700. Then for additional hips, we give you discount. So it's 600 per additional joint. So okay. for your bilateral shoulders, it's gonna be an additional 1,200. <coughs> and then for your SI joints, it's gonna be just an additional um, 600 instead of the initial 1,700. So together, it's gonna be 3,500. Okay. So in each one of these, you're just gonna say, yes, you want it to be treated, and then today's date in your signature. The sixth. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> My brain doesn't work right now. Okay. 
charge stuff too. Okay. So this yellow is his plasma. So we'll draw all of this and this will leave. Nice. So this is all inflammatory red blood cells and then these have all your growth factors in them. Mm. Our goal is for you to get back to your normal self within five to seven days. Really? Yeah. So we don't want you to <laughs> we don't want you to just sit there for six weeks and hope for the best. Like no, within five to seven days we want you to get back to your normal activity, what you've done like right now before you came in today. Mm -hmm. Um and slowly but surely start feeling better every day after that. Okay. Coda? He was writing in Coda? His hey buddy. Hey buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? All right, we gotta eat quick. What are you eating? Also, what are you watching? What the fuck was that? It's the schmo getting his injections. Uh, uh, I have two eggs, two egg whites, two pieces of turkey bacon, Dave's killer bagel with uh, vegan cream cheese, pineapple, and orange juice. Orange juice. All right, so I thought I had time to eat, but I don't. I just threw a beef patty on the grill and made some cream of rice, but I'm gonna have to throw this away and just cook again when I get back home. I don't wanna be late for this, uh, and we need to be back in 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, see you guys shortly back at the clinic. Changing up the wardrobe real quick. The plan is to do your SI joint, both the joint and the capsule around it to try to tighten up those ligaments, okay? So we're gonna do the, the, the ligaments and then go through them and do the joint as well. Uh, for the right shoulder, we're dealing with the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, and probably the teres major um, that area down below mm -hmm. um, that you were showing me that wasn't really Terry's minor but but bothering you it's probably the Terry's major we're going to look again uh, for the left shoulder we have the labrum the supraspinatus and the subdeltoid bursa and for the hip we're targeting the labrum and the gluteus minimus tendon so we got a lot <laughs> so, yeah so the right shoulder um, I believe there was bursitis or fluid or something going on there with as well, or at least that, that's what the MRI showed. I, I know once you did the ultrasound, you were you were saying that, that actually the left appeared a little bit worse. Right, I didn't, see, I didn't see bursitis, okay. but when I do the supraspinatus, mm -hmm. I actually go through the bursa to get to it. So if I see any inflammation okay. in the bursa, we'll treat it. Okay. I didn't see any um, on sure. our initial evaluation, but certainly whatever we see, we're gonna treat. Okay. This is where I'm gonna have you slide all the way toward me. Okay. Good. And you're gonna let your arm fall and you're gonna pinch this under your butt. Okay, that's good. Come even a little bit more toward me. That's good. Okay. It's a really good look at the supraspinatus. And now there is a little a little bit of bursa swelling. Okay, freeze that right there. Okay. So if you see this black line right there, that's a little bit of bursa swelling right on top of the supraspinatus tendon. Now I'm just looking for the spot that'll give me entry and allow me to treat both of those structures with one shot rather than having to go in twice. Okay. There's our needle mm -hmm. in the upper right hand corner. This is cool. Felt that pressure, right? Felt that, yeah. Okay. Okay. Doing all right? So far, so good. Pain level, what is it? I'm fine right now. Like when it's going in? The first one first was one pretty was. jolting, but the second one wasn't as bad. Okay. All right, so that's our spot. We're gonna go in here. 
like this is so crazy. You can see it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes, me, makes me wish I played more video games as a kid. Yeah, we, I mean, we added fluid to an area that was already b bothered, right. and you know that stretches it even more. Slide a little bit toward me if you could. Okay. I can't usually ever lay on my sides like when I sleep, so um, I'm, I'm trying my best to get to a spot where I can stay. Okay, so. Shoulder joint, this is the ball right here. Okay. Exactly right here is where it meets the socket. And this triangular structure is the labrum. Very nice, pure, clear PRT. See that person just just fill up? That was cool. See it tracking along the versa? That's, that's a good shot there. Alright, now we're gonna go a little bit more into the meat of the tendon. Yeah, poke now. <sighs> 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 Tendon right there. So, okay, Let's bring it under a stretch a little bit. Tell me where the most tender spot it's is. It's very tender. Right I where mean, I am. I mean, it do it does come out about like, you know, all the way. So, so do mimic a mimic a bench press. Just just gently. Does that? I mean, right along here. Is where it gets tight. Yeah. 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 Like when I'm actually using my, yeah, oh yeah, right. oh wow, yeah. Okay. Sorry. You can stop that now. This one's not going to be fun, I can already tell. <laughs> I don't know if I want my face so close to his fist. <laughs> Here is where it meets the socket, so if you'll allow me just just be really relaxed, I'm going to move you. You can see the the ball rotating into the socket there. See that movement? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This bird beak like structure here is the labrum. So we're going to be going right into this area right here. There's your tail. That's the tail. Okay. You can see this is the labrum here. And there's a defect within it right there. That's a really good picture now. Okay. Okay. No, there was a left leg. There was a leg. Okay.
take the towel out of the way, please. All right, here we go. to the labor mill. Right. Find a position that that feels okay and you're gonna be like, okay, I'm good. Hey, okay. All right. Now, I still am going to want you to do some range of motion stuff, and we'll talk about that when we're all done. Okay. The, the worst thing you can do is, is go home and, and just not move. Right. Okay? Um, but you also don't have to go crazy. I'm talking like, you know, some pendulum exercises okay. where you just, you know, do a circular pendulum one way and then the other way, and then just some rocking. We just don't want you to get frozen shoulder on top of all of this right. other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I could do it, that's for sure. Good. Okay, here comes a poke. Ouch. And we're through. Great. Okay, we're going to do a pop right now. Pop, we're in. And we are done. done. Did it. That there's one remaining. I mean, I didn't feel it when you were rolling. Yeah. Last time, so I guess yeah. we'll get down. So now. Yeah. For now. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is what UFC fighters must feel like after a couple days after a fight. <laughs> I would oh. think. I would think. Holy cow. All right, I'm going to step out and let you get changed and then I'm going to be back and we're going to talk about the instructions for, for afterwards okay. and the expectations, okay? Okay. Ooh. Wow. Didn't know what to expect, but... Yeah. Holy shit, it hurts. <laughs> like you had surgery? No, they, don't do both like that. Do the head. No, yeah, go ahead. Areas here, yeah. okay. Um, the the areas it, it's all mixed with some numbing medicine, so this is actually less soreness than you're going to be experiencing later. As that right. numbing wears off, as the cells start to do their thing, it's going to create a little irritation, inflammation. Mm -hmm. I think your your discomfort's going to ratchet up a little bit before it before it calms down. Um, if there's going to be a rough night. Tonight's the night that it's going to be rough. Um, Laying still and not moving, again, not good for people. We want you to get up, we want you to, to, to move things, but at the same time we don't want to stress the areas that we just treated. So, like we already talked about, you know, doing some pendulums, you can do it seated, standing, just exactly, even, not even that, that you know, just, just really gentle, some forward, some back. And if you, you know, if you want to sit at a table or a desk and, and rest your elbow, and just do some really gentle internal external rotation. We just want to keep things moving. That's right. that's that's really it. Okay, you don't, you know, it's it's probably going to be difficult to to try to wash your face or Go or anything do your head. hair. Yeah. It's, it's probably going to be sore. Yeah. Okay. So just just be aware of that. It's it's okay to do them. Just do them slowly because it's it's going to ache for, okay. for for tonight. Okay. And same goes with the hip. Um, you know, just some gentle internal external rotation. You can you can do some gentle straight leg raises. I would avoid anything that really compresses the ball into the socket. Like I wouldn't do a squat. I wouldn't you know jump and land on something, which I don't think you're going to do anyway. Um, but 
you know, something like getting in a pool, even later uh, today, yeah. and walking in the that. shallow end okay. and, and getting some motion with okay. your arms, really great, all right? You know, butterfly, right. you know, you know, breaststroke right. kick, but just to keep things moving and, okay. and it's water therapy, especially on a day like today, right. it's great. Right. Um, Yes, I joint, you know, it's going to feel full, um, but I think that that achiness is probably going to be the first that's going to dissipate. Mm -hmm. um, all the other areas, you know, it'll be, you know, getting comfortable tonight's probably going to be an issue. You've got the pain meds, use them as necessary every four to six hours. Okay. Heat, if you feel like it, 20 minutes twice a day on any area that we treated, just, just no ice in those areas. Okay. okay? Um, everything we talked about is also written here, um, okay. so if there's any questions, and if you have any further questions beyond, give us a call and uh, we're reachable all the time. Okay, once I get evaluated by the physical therapist, they'll kind of guide me in terms of uh, what they, maybe they think I'm ready for, yeah, you know, I let's would, say in like three or four weeks, as I'm going through therapy, what they think I'm ready for in and terms I would, of activity. I would ask them to call me and, and let me have a discussion with them and say, look, this is, this is what we did, this is, these are my thoughts, this is what we want you to do, this is what we want you to avoid. Okay. Um, if, it's, if it's therapists that we haven't worked with in the past, um, or who? Yeah, so I, I haven't set anything up, but I'm gonna go to who you recommended uh, out east. I think. It oh was. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. They, so they know. They know, okay. and, and and they have a direct line to me if they have a question about anything. They'll okay. just call me or text me, and we'll clarify it. Okay. Yeah, they're they're great. They really are. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really my main concern because, like I said, these past this past month, I mean, I I haven't done anything outside of just you know going to get in the ocean and kind of floating around or walking on the beach much. I mean, that's pretty much been it. So I just want to make sure that I'm not, uh, I'm being patient and doing things the right way that, yeah. you know, that you recommend and they yeah. recommend. And we will, we'll reach out to you tomorrow just to okay. see how you did overnight. We're also going to plan a follow up in about six weeks. Okay. Um, if there's any issue in between there, please, you know, reach out and let, let us know if something's, you know, not seeming right. Um, but, uh, you know, I would expect you to be, you know, it's pretty sore yeah. tonight, um, significantly better tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then incrementally better day by day, so that, you know, by the end of the week, that you'll, I think you'll be back at your baseline for sure. Okay, maybe the last thing for the video would sort of just to be, just to get your, your opinion, you know, my whole, my whole purpose of filming this and kind of sharing my journey with people is, this year's been really, really rough um, with figuring, just the process of figuring this stuff out, right? I mean, a lot of people, they'll, they'll just go to an, an orthopedic doctor and most of those doctors will recommend surgery based on whatever you're dealing with. Um, you know, some of them are surgeons and that's just how they practice. So of course that may be their initial recommendation, but a lot of people don't know what PRP is. A lot of people, um, a lot of people also don't know that, that you can treat a tear. Some people think, oh, I have something torn, I have yeah. to have surgery. So right. I guess um, just sort of giving your, both your, your opinion on the approach to medicine and, and what you do here as well as um, right. sort of a, you know, a general view yeah. of all of this kind of stuff. Well, yeah, and, and you know, the surgeons, they're, they're not bad folks. They, yeah, right. It's, you know, that's, that's their way that they know how they can help you. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not anti-surgery at all. I'm, I'm very anti either premature or unnecessary surgery. And, you know, it, it's available. It's always a last resort. And if, if we have the option of trying to facilitate tissue healing with, you know, non-surgical approaches, you know, that's always going to be my way. A lot of times, like, hey, you know, that's beyond what we can do. And we definitely refer to the surgeons. But... You know, as far as, you know, explaining about PRP, uh, you know, it stands for platelet-rich plasma. It's where we take your blood, uh, centrifuge it, get rid of all the red blood cells, and that leaves us with the plasma. We further concentrate the platelets within there. Platelet uh, in its membrane has something called platelet-derived growth factor. And when that is delivered to different parts of the body in need, it's the same cells that your body naturally uses to heal itself, and we're just concentrating them and putting them in the area of need. Um, we can heal tears, whether it be labrum or rotator cuff or meniscus. Um, we can heal tendinitis or tendinosis if it's, if 
it's gone on long enough and changed the actual, actual cellular structure of the tendon. Um, we can you know, reduce the inflammation associated with arthritis. Uh, so there's, there's just you know, lots of uses for it. Um, and uh, you know, I think as we follow you throughout time, we'll see yeah, how successful things works. are in you. But yeah. you know, we you know we successfully treat all of these areas. Yeah. Uh, so I hope you're going to be our success story as well. Yeah. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> good boy. He's a good boy. I gotta sit. All right. What's up, guys? So it is. Hey, buddy. Hey, it is 7.23 p.m. Um, I did my injections this morning at 9.45, so almost 12 hours later, and I'm in a lot of pain. Um, I was able to work all day, which is, which is great, um, sit and work on my laptop, but that was pretty much the extent of it. I needed help. I needed help, for the most part, making my meals and just reaching and grabbing for things, so... I can do things close to my body right now, but in terms of moving without a pain level over a five, this is about as high as I can go with my arms. Um, I can't really lift them up and I'm okay with not trying for right now until maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm able to rotate a little bit and get some movement and uh, kind of hang down here. The doctor did tell me to make sure I'm moving a little bit like I'm doing, just to uh, make sure there's no stiffness in the joint. Um, but uh, other than that, I am supposed to be just kind of hanging out for these first couple days and letting everything heal, letting the PRP do its thing. Um, had a lot of stiffness in my SI joint and that's sort of gone away slightly. The hip hasn't been bad because all I've really been doing is um, all I've really been doing is sitting and working. So, just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm feeling. I'm very, very tired, and it's been a long day for me. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope um, I hope that I was able to to educate you guys on the options out there for you, and you know, encourage some of you guys to get more opinions on on some of your issues and injuries that you may be having going on. And, and hopefully um, I served as a good example and look into what PRP is and what it can do. And I will certainly keep you guys posted on if this worked and, and what it has done for me over the course of the next couple weeks. So I'll be documenting all of that stuff, going through physical therapy. Um, I am, <laughs> CODIS. <laughs> didn't really get much energy out today with everything we had uh, going on but i will be documenting everything so i'm calling the physical therapist calling the physical therapy office tomorrow and getting scheduled with that so i likely won't do anything through the rest of this week and then hopefully next week or the week after i'll get started with physical therapy and then we'll get rolling in the right direction really soon so again thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time say bye say bye